So I saw this really cool tab bar animation on Dribbble the other day, and I thought it'd be really fun to recreate this for you guys inside of Flinto. So that's what we're gonna do today. Stay tuned. All right, so as always, I'm gonna link the project file in the description below if you guys wanna follow along. Um, but here we're looking inside Sketch at a tab bar concept based off of that dribble shot. Notice I do not have the beveled kind of border here yet. I'm gonna do that part in Flinto and you'll see why. So let's select this artboard and head into Flinto and we'll just import it. So the first thing we're gonna do is make some vertical alignment guides. So really simple to do. I'm just gonna hit V on my keyboard and draw a line straight down the middle like so. And then I'm also going to draw a rectangle and we'll first start it at the edge of this wallet here and go to the edge of this chat icon here. Then I'm going to hit, I'm gonna hold shift and option and just scale it up or scale it down a tiny bit just so this side kind of moves in and this side moves in. And we can just bring it even with the top of the scan icon like so. And let's also get rid of its fill. So now we have a alignment guide here. We have one here and we have one here and they're equidistant. So let's bring up our vector tool now by hitting V on our keyboard. Let's draw a point here, a point here, even with the corner, a point here, a point even with this corner and a point to the edge. Let's hit enter and we can get rid of its fill. And now I'm gonna hit enter again, just to bring up vector edit mode. Now holding shift and clicking on this point, this point, and this point, I'm gonna select those three points and jack up the radius. And now we have a bit of a beveled edge, but we wanna move this one point down a tiny bit. So we can just go in and move it to our liking somewhere around there probably looks good. And let's just get rid of these alignment guides now. I'm just gonna hide them by right-clicking and hiding. Cool, so now we have somewhat of a beveled edge here. And again, you guys can be a little more precise with these um, if you want. Next, we'll make this look a bit nicer. So let's just select that path we just made. And I'm going to change this to a lighter gray, just so it's very subtle. It's noticeable, but very subtle. And we can make it a bit wider. So let's try, let's try three pixels wide. And let's just name this guy track. And you'll see why in a second. So with this called track, let's select it and hit command D to duplicate. So now you'll see another layer that's exactly the same appears right on top of that. And I'm gonna name this one indicator. And this one, we can actually color the same blue color. Cool, so one of my favorite features about Flinto is the way you can edit vectors. So since this indicator is a vector, we can mess with the start and end position. So you see if I just drag on its end position, it kind of follows this beveled um, shape here. So we can put the end position around here and bring the start position inwards a little bit. And now we've just created a little indication that we're on the home screen. Now comes the fun part. We can actually start to animate this. So let's select everything and select behavior to put all these elements inside of behavior group and open the behavior designer. Here we're looking at our initial state with this home tab selected. Let's create a new state. We'll call this one wallet because we're gonna tab over to wallet. And we'll call this one home. So in this new state, all we have to do is kind of manipulate the start and end position of this indicator. So let's bring the end position around here and we'll bring the start position around here. So now watch what happens when I tap between, the indicator moves to show that we're now at the wallet state. So if I want to repeat this to the chat icon, let's just create a new state this one chat and we'll just do the same thing so we'll select the indicator and manipulate the start and end position like so and this transition is going to be really cool because it's going to come all the way down and around I'm just trying to make this look even 
and look how cool that is. Let's create one more state for the settings. We'll call this one settings. And again, do the same thing, select the indicator and just manipulate the points so that settings is highlighted. Again, you guys can be more exact with the actual distance of this indicator, but I'm going pretty quickly here. So now we have all of our states. Now we just need to link between them. So let's hit D on our keyboard to draw a link around this home icon. And I'm just going to connect this one to home. You'll see why I do this in a second. We're going to use a tap gesture to initiate this. Let's draw another link around wallet. Connect it to wallet. Same thing for chat. Connect to chat and settings. So now I have four of these links and what I can do is hold shift and select all of them, hit command C on my keyboard, then head to the wallet state and just paste those links, then head to the chat, paste those links, head to settings, paste them. So now when we go to our preview, we can just tap between all of these states and we get this really sweet animation that goes all the way around this, this edge here. And if you want, you guys can play around with the timing. Um, if you guys want this to take a little longer, you can mess with the easing, but yeah, that's the basic concept. Pretty cool animation. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe for more tutorials, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.